Hey guys, uh, this is CBS 512 again. Um, in this tutorial, I just want to go over uh, basically some of these uh, programs that I included in my Mega Theming Tools package. Um, if you don't have it, you better get it. Uh, it's in the CM 10.1 Mega Theme uh, thread of XDA. Um, basically the first one that I'll go over is a 7-zip and since I already have it installed basically you're just going to want to install this and uh, well I, I actually had an issue with this one and I did a google search to fix it but I think uh, the one that worked for me was the x64 uh, because that is the one that my system is, but uh, I had a problem with the the right click context menu not popping up, so I had to uninstall the x86 and then install the x64 and it seemed to be working just fine. See the context menu right there? Uh, it, it makes it a breeze for editing things. Um, I guess the next thing, this right here, this ADT bundle right here, this is Android SDK. And um, you got the SDK manager right there, and that basically just gives you all your files for the Android platform. Um, if you're having issues connecting like your phone to your computer via USB, uh, I would suggest updating these files right here and also downloading the a USB driver uh, inside the SDK uh, folder. Uh, you have five folders right here, uh, five subfolders. And um, really, this you don't really have to worry about this too much for theming, but um, for like debugging and stuff, uh, you just have all these different uh, programs and different stuff in there. Um, really, if you needed anything, it would be in here. Um, the AAPT and the ADB is good for the ADB is good for like if you're doing a log cat or something. Um, you open your command prompt and type out the command for the ADB. Like if you're having a force close issue or something and that'll help you. It'll it'll print out a log of everything that's going on, which is really helpful. You know, it helps fix errors and stuff. Um, ABK Manager. I actually had to unzip this and put the new 4.2.1 uh, APK tool files in here already uh, to make it a little more convenient for you guys. I had also included the APK tool um, by itself if you don't like uh, APK manager at all. Uh, this XML generator right here, it's actually a jar file and I I'll show you guys how to use this real quick if you guys want to learn. Um, basically I have it right here, it's just a jar file so you're going to want to open your command prompt right here and you're going to want to open this right here uh, just change your directory to wherever the jar file is since it's on my desktop um, I'm just going to change my directory to the desktop and basically this XML generator just generates an XML like if you're adding a new uh, APK to your theme. Uh, this is very very helpful. It uh, it just basically um, takes all the images and the names and converts them into a uh, into an XML file. And I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. Um, basically, this command is Java minus jar XML generator dot jar. And then you're going to want to type the name uh, where your images are of the folder. So, for instance, this is colorized. 
and then you would just want to do the name of whatever the name you wanted the XML to be. Oh, I'm sorry about that, excuse that. And uh, your XML will pop up right here. And the format that you would need for your theme. But uh, don't just take this XML and put it into your theme. Uh, I wouldn't recommend that at all. You, you need to take, um, like copy an XML that you already have in your theme and open up the copy. Delete everything that's in there except the uh, the very top. Um, I believe it says like UTF, or and then it has the resources right above here. And then you would just copy this into it, um, and that's pretty much the XML generator. Uh, what else is there? Um, this photo sizer, resizer. Uh, that's the fast stone I showed you guys in the other other tutorial uh, but basically this this program is freeware it's got a lot of options um, I personally you can use this to rename images like you got a batch rename right here you've got advanced options right here and you can resize rotate crop canvas all this right here it's it's really a nice freeware program i really wouldn't know about it without dj dark knight uh i owe him a lot of credit for this um also uh the the one that i was thinking of before i clicked on that one was this resizer tool right here and basically what this resizer tool does is it opens it, it creates subfolders of different densities. Um, so basically, like these right here, I believe. Let me check this real quick. But I think these are XHDPI. So what you would want to do is you just drag and drop all of those right there into the program. And it pops up these four subfolders right here with all the different densities that you need. And here's XHDPI and LDPI and XHDPI. And uh, that that's really, really a helpful tool. I don't think a lot of people know about that tool, so. Um, you guys should be lucky you have it um it'll it'll save a lot of time for you guys also all right you just really use whatever you feel comfortable using uh the the jdk is the java sdk 7 um, i included both versions uh depending on what uh, platform you're running or your system specs um, just try and make it a little more convenient for you guys again. Uh, the GIMP, I included that also, that's freeware. Uh, this NPP right here, this is Notepad Plus, Plus, and uh, that basically is how you edit XML files in Windows. I think there's a few other ones, but uh, this one is definitely the most common, and it's it's really easy to use, like the Android manifest. Uh, this is on XML file. Uh, I might make a tutorial on how to edit an XML uh, if you don't know already. Um, but I'll do that in another video. Uh, that's. Um, yeah, I really think that's it. Uh, I might cover. A lot of stuff in other videos like take each one of these step by step and show you guys but other than that this should just be a good overview for you guys on uh, know what to do with what I included in this package for you uh, thanks for watching